Good afternoon, folks. Uh, welcome to another episode of a Skull Session at Sate. Uh, we have a very interesting gentleman joining us today. Uh, his name is Mr. Vikrant Grover, uh, head of Southeast Asia for pa Pasha Travels, Azerbaijan. But he also has a lot of other caps uh, in India. Uh, one of the nicknames that he carries is the Robin Hood of Indian travel industry. Welcome, Vikram. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you so much. So, uh, how has Sate been so far? Sate is, like every year, a great show. I really don't know how many Sates I have attended in my life, but every year it is growing and uh, really becoming very beneficial for buyers. And uh, the number of participants, the countries, the regions, the tourism boards which are coming, is really enlightening the tourism industry in India and uh, it's a boom for us you know beginning of the year we know about uh, what is going to happen the whole year there are trends that are for the tourism industry Sate is an important step in 2020 as you know uh, as per UNWTO report uh, 2020 50 million Indians are traveling abroad out of which 40 percent are millennials so how is Sate helping you uh, to engage with this set of audience to prepare and support the growth? So what is happening with Sate is we get to meet here buyers who come from every possible city in the country. You know, there are some cities like Himmatnagar is a city in India which has a travel company and they want to send people to Azerbaijan and uh, various countries all over the world. And when I was holding his card and reading about Himmatnagar, I actually asked him where it is and he told me it's a city close to Udaipur and it's in Gujarat. So if people from Himmatnagar are coming to Sate, then this show is really offering to everybody. Everybody is aware of it and for us to come to this show is really nice because we don't need to go to these cities to do calls, to meet clients and we meet them here and that is where we interact with them and we are getting our numbers from them and uh, i'm very surprised to see that these cities have very unique kind of tourists who want to visit countries and regions and they want to try local foods local wines or engage in local activities and we educate them more about it so uh, moving on from sate uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Pasha Travels and the uh, scheme of things uh, with Azerbaijan and the Indian market. So Pasha Travels is uh, one of the largest uh, travel companies in Azerbaijan. It has legacy in tourism business. The holding group uh, altogether has uh, a lot of huge interest in tourism uh, related activities. They've got uh, restaurants, they've got uh, and restaurants are like not normal restaurants. They've got like high-end, medium-end, fine dine, catering, Indian, Spanish, Italian, Azerbaijani cuisine, Caucasian cuisine, everything. They've got the finest bars under the restaurant division. They've got hotels. They've got the finest hotels in Azerbaijan, which are part of the, you know, group. They've got uh, hotels, which are boutique hotels, hotels which are located in old parts of the country, health resorts, everything. As a part of the holding group, they own multiple businesses, multiple companies when they're holding, and uh, Pasha Travels is proud to be, you know, part of such a big holding group. So, uh, what's your strategy for the Indian market for 2020? So, for 2020, we are very focused on, uh, you know, getting uh, good travelers to Azerbaijan. Every traveler is a good traveler who comes to us, but our key focus is on elite uh, cliente, Lot of FITs coming to Azerbaijan, people engaging in uh, new things, new practices, new trends of tourism. Wine has become very popular in India and uh, Azerbaijan is becoming very popular for wineries. We have tourists in 2019 who've started companies who started putting wine tasting as one of our very important activities in uh, their portfolios, their mice groups. Azerbaijani food is becoming very popular, the culture is becoming very popular. There are newer destinations where people want to travel to, apart from Baku, which is the capital city. Everything is attracting tourists and uh, we are here, you know, with a strategy to attract Indian weddings, Indian social events. We are inviting them to come to see, you know, how they can come and uh, mix with the culture there. Yes, and you know, it is, uh, it, it's an old, uh, 
Silk Route uh, city. So we've got a lot of history with India. Azerbaijan has a lot of history with India. That is how I entangle very well. They have a Hindu temple, which is a fire temple. And fire is very important for Indians as a worshipping you know, mode also. So one of the things audience, uh, people often say in the industry that Vikrant is physically present here. His heart is always in Azerbaijan. So can you put some light on that? Yeah, you know, I uh, love the country, Azerbaijan. And uh, it is right that I am physically present here and my heart is there. And uh, it's, it's, it's very unique. I've traveled to more than 85 countries in the world, but uh, Azerbaijan really stole my heart. And uh, that is the reason that it keeps pulling me back every month and month to come back to the country. The food is very nice. The people are very nice. You know, and uh, the overall feel of infrastructure, the hotels, is very, very modern, very European, very American. The whole system is very well developed. They have an amazing airport. Flights from all over the world connect. The visa process is very easy. And, uh, you know, when you come to the country, which offers you everything, it's like, I would say, like, you know, when I go to London, I don't need to look for a restaurant because I can find any cuisine in London. I would say in Baku is you got more restaurants in London wow. okay. and every cuisine that you want to eat and different kinds of bars, different kinds of uh, nightclubs, different kinds of shopping malls, different kind of activities for children. Within three hours from Baku, you get to the best ski slopes, you get to the best natural parks, you get to the best reservoirs, you get to see beaches which have black sand, wow, okay. you know, you get to see forests. So, you are summarizing Azerbaijan as a complete destination for both mice and FIT and in terms of indulgence, you, you offer sun, sand and snow as well. Yes. Flora, fauna, the perfect mix is there. Huh. So, before I shoot the last question, uh, I just want to understand how has been the growth from the Indian market? Uh, to Azerbaijan in the last three years? So 2017 is when uh, we started uh, getting incoming numbers from Azerbaijan. 2017, the first half of the year was a readiness uh, process for us as Pasha Travel because we were the first uh, pioneer company in India to bring Indians to Azerbaijan. So it was more of uh, meeting up with the large uh, corporations and telling them about the destination. Airlines played a very pivotal role in it, telling them that the visa is uh, free. Like, you know, they can get an e-visa, which is very simplified. So 2017 till 2020, I would say the growth is more than 200% every year. One of the big growth markets. It's a very big growth. And if I'm not wrong, uh, 2019, uh, the tourist arrivals from India are more than 70,000 from India, India only. And uh, it is growing and uh, I see that 2020, we should easily cross 200,000 arrivals from India. That is the pace at which we are growing. The tourism and the travel agencies are really opening up to Indian tourists. They are welcoming. Uh, you can see in 2018 at Sate, we had like uh, seven agencies from Azerbaijan. And last year we had like uh, around 12 agencies and this year we have more than 20 participants here. Exactly. The Azerbaijanis are welcoming Indian tourists and they are, uh, you know, welcoming them. There are more than 25 Indian restaurants in Azerbaijan in the last three years. Wow, that's a big number. So, they are Indian market ready. One last personal question. Why Robin Hood and Dark Knight of the travel industry? How did you get this name? <laughs> so, Aaron, you know me for uh, quite some time and, uh, you know, people uh, have different opinions about me as an individual because I'm a very straightforward person and when I talk about my products, my services, I am very straightforward around it and I tell people that this is how things should be done. I have been with this industry for more than 22 years now, worked on all spheres, incoming, outgoing, corporate travel. I've been with corporates for almost a, you know, 10 years. I worked with corporate on the travel side, heading uh, travel related services for known American companies, worked overseas. So I'm very straightforward in my approach and that is how I like to keep it and that is how I like to be addressed. I, dark nights. Dark? Is there something with the word dark? And the nights. Well, dark nights. Is, dark nights is because you know I love nights, 
I am a very night person. You know, I totally change in the night. And uh, I like to, you know, explore a lot during the nights. Wherever I'm traveling to, I like to go to the most local places at night. And, you know, I would go to restaurants which are located next to bus stands and, you know, airports and see how drivers are eating and what kind of discussions they are having. Go to bars which are like, you know, very small bars. I get the name now, Dark Night. That fits in well. It was fun having you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. It was fun to be around. All the best here. for 2020. Thank you.